if you're a card maker and you're looking for ways to make your cards go from okay to wow then this is the tutorial for you I'm going to talk you through three of my top tips for beginner card makers and those who have been crafting for a while to allow you to bring your cards to the next level so let's get started straight away if you love this tutorial I would love it if you could then subscribe and like this video too now first things first we're going to talk about patterned paper we very often use pattern paper within our card making I'm just going to be using the my creative life by Katie Skilton homespun paper pack collection just so that you can get an idea of this tip and technique and how best to use it now we always start with our card base or our backing panel this for me is always a solid piece of cardstock that coordinates with my chosen paper and I always choose one piece of pattern paper to focus all of my color around I very very rarely layer two pieces of pattern paper on top of each other despite the fact that usually an entire pack will coordinate and everything in there will work together yes they will but if you're laying one on top of the other you're just going to lose the effect now let me show you an example of this so I have cut one of these beautiful pieces of pattern paper to size to fit onto my card base I've then used this pattern paper to cut out my die cut now this is my good vibes only die cut and this has come from my floral folk art collection so when I lay that onto there although the papers coordinate you're just losing the detail and the edge around the sentiment that's no good so what you want to do is instead of using a pattern paper pick out one color ideally one of the stronger colors from this paper here so I've chosen to go with this gorgeous sage or olive green in here and I've cut that same die cut now look at the difference that makes amazing it still all coordinates absolutely beautifully it's just making sure your sentiment is popping now talking about colour and pattern paper as well, what I always like to do is make sure that my layers have a frame. Now this can be either by adding some stitching or some faux stitching around the edge of my layers as I'm doing here with this tracing wheel. You could use just a pen to do some doodled lines or you could use inking. I prefer to use the inking method when I'm working with patterned papers this is like I say going to frame it it's going to make it pop on the underneath layer so if I was to do the stitched lines as I've done in this sheet here onto my pattern paper they just would not show stitching will show a little bit but still not so much block color is best you usually want to place block color against patterns and vice versa now what I've done here is I've picked one of the gorgeous colors from this paper again not the same one as I'm using for my sentiment I'm just going to brush around the edge very lightly with that color ink I'm using a distress oxide and for this particular frame here I'm using ripe persimmon now I'm just going to do a very light frame around the edge first of all just blending it very lightly into the center I don't want the entire piece to be filled with the color and then I'm going to go ever so slightly darker on the corners now look how beautifully that frames that piece and our sentiment still stands out nicely in the middle lastly when you're constructing your card it's a really good idea to bring in as much dimension as possible rather than gluing everything down flat where postage is going to allow I would suggest you bring in some adhesive foam now this could be in the form of tape in different widths foam pads or as I use a lot adhesive sheets these are sticky on both sides you have a backing on both sides and they die cut so they're absolutely perfect not only for large areas as you can see I can cut that down to fit my panel but also for die cutting to sit behind my sentiment and while you're watching me glue this all together if you love quick cards like this don't forget to take a look at the playlist for my Friday five minute makes so there's some top tips that I always bear in mind when I'm putting my cards together and they just help me create a more balanced finished product. You notice the adhesive that I use there, I've colour coordinated that, the white to the card as well. These sheets often come in black or white so you can choose which suits your colour combination better. But that is by far just a much more balanced and aesthetically pleasing card to look at and of course everything pops and stands out beautifully. If you enjoyed this video I'd love it if you could subscribe and like I say don't forget to 
to check out the Friday five minute makes playlist on my channel and also I've got lots for beginner card makers too. Take care everybody, I'll see you again very soon.